All right, this is a demonstration of the Ecobee uh, air conditioning system, and it's a little interesting because it's not just a uh, thermostat kind of like a Nest or Honeywell, but it actually has these little satellite sensors, and these go in the other rooms, and then they transmit wirelessly, and then they let it know what its, uh, what its temperature is. So based on that, it also has you know Wi-Fi connectivity and internet access, so it can link back up and come up with a schedule for you. So let's uh, take a look at this thing since it's installed. So I put it over here and you can see as you walk up to it, it will actually kind of uh, awaken because there's actually motion sensors built into this. And if you remember in that demonstration of these satellite sensors here, it's interesting because with motion sensors on all of them, you essentially have a, a proximity sensor, uh, like a not a geofence, but you have a, a way to tell what activity is going on in your house. So you have a basic alarm system just from that alone, even though it's also a thermostat. That's pretty interesting. Now, uh, keep in mind with this, you have the ability to use it like this, but you can also use your phone. Now, since I'm recording, I can't really show that, but you get the idea that you could be anywhere on the planet and you can see some of the stuff. But these sensors, these subsensors actually show up here and you can see that there is temperature variations between the different rooms. And that's pretty interesting. Um, because that shows you that your Nest thermostat or your Honeywell or your programmable, that temperature is completely inaccurate from all of the other rooms. And let's say you have your pets uh, specifically in one room over the course of a day. Um, that room could be substantially hotter or colder um, depending on where you're at. Now, since this is an interior, an interior room, it's basically got walls and not a lot of windows. So you can see that this room is a little bit cooler than the kitchen, for example, which has a lot of windows around it. Now, there's a couple other interesting things you can do, but for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna leave it with this. When you tie it into automation, you have the ability to talk to it. Now, that's really good as you get older, it's really good if you're disabled, and it's really good if you're lazy. <laughs> so I can do something like uh, use Siri, which is tied into HomeKit, and I'm gonna do a demonstration here. So. Hey Siri, turn on the thermostat. Okay, there you go. And as you can see over here, it's turning on the thermostat. Now, right now I'm working on getting this tied in with Alexa and then also getting this to tie into some different um, scenes, for example. So I can say, you know, movie time or homework time or whatever, and it'll change the thermostat, change the lights, uh, lock the doors or deadbolts or what have you. Um, but this is just to show some of the capabilities of what you can do. And uh, let me do this again now. Hey Siri, turn off the thermostat. Okay, there you go. There you go. So uh, until next time, to be continued.